and welcome to Story Fandom. Today we're going to watch Ruby Season 9, Episode 6, Confession Within Kanu discovered I said cumulo nimbus wrong. I'm not entirely sure. That's a cumulo nimbus. I think you say like cumian. Cumulo, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I heard cumulin. Cumulino nimbus. Cumulino So we're trying some uh, <laughs> new camera angles and saying. stuff to yeah. see if we can <laughs> have a more natural, less you're laying on the floor while watching us thing going on here. <laughs> So hopefully this camera position will work. Why lay down so I got it? Because the camera used to have to be down there because I didn't have a long enough cord, but now we have the cord extender, so let's we extend the camera cord so we can actually have it in a better position. Why are you explaining this? Because you asked. <laughs> On camera. Is not wrong. Like, <laughs> do you know what we're like going to look custom to like... Rhetorical? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Alright, I have unfortunately seen a major spoiler for this episode and I was very annoyed by it. Oh my god, again? I didn't see, mean to. You no, see, movie. you know what? You need to be like me today. I what? am staying off of Instagram until we watch day two oh, of Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Oh, Facebook. Well, I don't ever go but on Facebook anymore. I, I, I do go on Facebook, goes on Facebook now? because I Instagram. post to those um, yeah. Nuzlocke pages that I, I do. Oh my gosh, and take I a also, break from that. I know. How I also know. look at other people's Nuzlocke to be supportive, and so I clicked on one of the things, like, hey, by the way, so-and-so posted a Nuzlocke update. I'm like, okay. And as I went back, the page refreshed, and it was like, oh, hey, screenshot. Oh, so that happens. Yeah, so maybe just don't go on social media, Mr. I live on my phone. But it's been like two weeks. You can't even make it that long. If you go more than a week without WrestleMania, without being able to watch it, you go on Instagram, you see all the spoilers, and who wins every single match and how they do it. So you don't even but get to talk all that stuff to me. But they look for it. They look for the spoilers. No. I saw Snoop Dogg standing over the Miz one there. That's all I saw. <laughs> see? Hey, I cleared it out real fast. It, it I was also cleared it out really fast. I was sitting there going but to the bathroom. What I that's saw. Not even, that's, I not like, even a, that's not even a match. Exactly. It's not that's a match. It's not a match. But what I okay. saw was unmistakable. No, I, I didn't see nothing. Okay. Was but are you guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. His guys. Oh it is kind of big what I saw. I don't know what it is. We're going to see. I'll find out afterwards. It's a bad good. I would say it's good. Guys, are you excited? I would say it's good. I'm scared. Well, there are going to be people who disagree with me. And they're probably... I'm not going to go there. There'll be spoilers. Okay. You guys ready? Will oh, my God. Be, will one of them be me? No. Okay. I'm sure you'll love it. Now, are you guys ready to watch it? Mm-hmm. Okay. My go ahead. And yes, because you keep trying to, like, build it up. Oh, he looks <laughs> That's the part between your bangs and the rest of your hair. It's always been there. Okay, we'll just put your hair like hey, this. Yeah, no. Is it like a comb over? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite part. I knew it is. <laughs> Trust me, you should be happy to 
I saw you in the market, I... John. It's us. <laughs> How did you find us? How are you the rusted knight? And when did you get so <laughs> mature? <laughs> <laughs> what happened in Atlas? After the rest of us fell? He blushed! I, uh, guess we've all got a lot of catching up to do. She's got two relics now, and with Cinder, the ability to get another. She doesn't know where the beacon relic is. Well, there's that to be thankful for, at least. <sighs> we lost Atlas and the relic. But we got everyone out safely. John said so. We risked their home to save the relic, and we failed. Getting everyone out has to count for something. What good is saving anybody if Salem just destroys the world anyway? That's how Ironwood thought. You don't mean that. Are you done? We need to move before the weather turns, or it's going to take us a lot longer to get to safety. There will be plenty of time to lick your wounds later. Come on. I'm in here. So, like where I'm are we going again? My village. <laughs> I still can't believe you made it all the way from the Crimson Keep on your own. Not on our own. We had help. <laughs> oh. I hope the cat is okay. What cat? What cat? <laughs> I found you. Why is it you always find the thing you're looking for in the very last place you look? <laughs> and you don't keep looking for it. Sean! 
Oh my! It has been an indeterminate amount of time, hasn't it? So, how have you been? Wait, you two know each other? Well, they'd have to. From the story. <laughs> oh, John! I think there's a misunderstanding. The cat can get us all out of here. Don't have time for this. We've got to get to my village. Don't worry. We don't need a guide. But your friends wanted to go to the tree. That's where you're letting them take you? Well, yeah. That's... That's how Alex got out. Right? You didn't tell them anything. No, that's simply not true. I told them plenty of things. A few anythings and lots of somethings. Can somebody please make sense? That tree is death. It absorbs you takes your memories, and turns you into something else. If you go there, it's going to erase you. They call it ascension here. That's really what it is. Wait, the tree is what causes ascension? That's what got the herbalist. The roots of the tree. Pretty curious that you neglected to mention that. Oh, excellent partnership. But you are not from here. It won't do that to you guys. Oh yeah? Then what happened to Lewis? Who? Got the very good swipe on that. That... That can't be right. She had a brother? Why didn't you mention him? Well, you never asked, silly. It was always Alex this and Alex that. We've been following this story the whole time, and it's not even true? Let's go. I've got a plan. A lot of good that's done you after what? How many years? Can everyone please stop? This is a lot to take in. Huh? Looks like we are stuck at a crossroads then. No! What? Don't know, but apparently that was not something you, you should have said. <sighs> Damn it. Welcome to a thunderstorm. A uh, weather pattern creates a physical manifestation of a mental or emotional problem. So, we appear to be at a metaphorical and literal crossroads. Come right back on the Zelda Gabby! Ever after. <sighs> this place really is a pits. <laughs> the only way out is to resolve the problem or wait until the storm passes. Let's just get moving. <laughs> <laughs> I asked for that. <laughs> Where's Yang? And Blake? Must have had something bigger to work out. Huh? Blake! Yang! What do we do? We need to get to that platform! But how do we take the next step? would go quicker if you make up your minds. Uh, I just don't get how the story is both real and not. It all happened. Just not the way Alex said when she wrote it. She just lied? You have no idea. I waited for you to fall. For years. But somebody else showed up first. It was Alex. And her brother, Lewis. Two siblings from Remnant. I told them I was from there too. I was waiting for my friends. Once I started helping them, it didn't take long for me to figure out I was in her story. I was the rusted knight. But things weren't always the same as the book. Like Alex. She wasn't just a little petulant or inconsiderate. She was selfish. Cruel. But this whole world was simply make-believe and the rules didn't apply to her. Lewis was the kind one. 
the clever one. We went places she didn't mention in the story. Like the herbalist. Something changed there. Whatever he said to her, she wasn't the same after that. She lost all trust in us. Started accusing us of things. The more I tried to get the story back on track, the more she distrusted me. Was it my fault? Did I change the story? I, I couldn't even be the make-believe hero. I didn't have time to make it right. The rest of the night, drink the poison in her stead. She said she wouldn't let anyone get in the way of her leaving. That she'd do whatever it takes. And that she was gone. So, not exactly my favorite story anymore. I'm so sorry. Wait, why don't you trust the cat then? <sighs> the cat's role in the Ever After. I figured it out later when the cat came back for me once I was left. When people lose their way here, the cat convinces them somehow. Either to keep performing their role or to go to the tree and get a new one. The cat calls it healing, but it's manipulation. The cat was never helping Alex or you. Their purpose here is to feed the tree. To keep the cycle going. How can you be sure? Because the cat took Alex and Lewis there. Only one of them made it back to our world. You all right? Well, feel a lot better when we're together on that platform. Uh, is it a password or something? Together! Platform! <laughs> no luck? I'm sure you'll figure it out, though. You're good at that. You think so? Well, yeah. You've got a really good... brain. <laughs> okay, that did something. Uh, I talked about you, so... <clears throat> you have cat ears! I think your cat ears are cute. Nailed it! <laughs> Even though I don't know what it is yet. Maybe it's saying things we've never said to each other. <gasps> extraordinary person. You're always the first to lighten a situation. You act bravely when you're afraid. You do what you say. Try to keep up. I like that you've never been as committed to my spoiler or not. Even when you didn't like me all that much. I was a little wary of people in general, but you never gave up on them, even when they hurt you. You never give up. You know what matters to you. Let's make this quicker. Any big truths we haven't dropped on each other yet?
said, it's sort of hard to mistake what it was. <laughs> oh, how odd. This time you were in the first place I loved rather than the last. John told us. Well, I thought there was more to the story. You're accusing me of something. Same page now. You're the one who gives afterings to the tree. Why haven't you been telling us the truth? When the Afterins get all higgly-piggly, I help them return to the Ever After, yes. But you're not Afterins. I'm not taking you there to ascend. I'm taking you there because you all have such delightful information for me. You pretended like you'd never heard of the story when you met us. But Jean had already told you. I think old Jean's maybe a few sandberries short of a picnic these days. What do you say? <sighs> what happened when you took Alex and Lewis to the tree? I... I don't know. She had told me she'd take me with her through the door to Remnant, but she tricked me. Just... just like all of you. You only want to use me in the same way I've only seen others as sources for knowledge and entertainment. Well, at least now I know what not to do. We just want to get home. Thank you for this lesson, Ruby, Rose, Altris. I'll be on my way now. Stay with your friend. <laughs> Did we miss anything? Feels like I've been waiting forever for that. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been holding on to for you. Chris and Rose finally. What's the first thing I saw when I was falling? Years later, when I finally found it, even though I caught back up with it, I'm really good. to the tree in order to leave and then she wrote him out of the story good night everyone just wanted to say that she's the good guy and that who's the good guy Alex no no like she wrote it like to say that she yeah she wrote it like as if she was good yeah so I didn't like this episode at all, did you, Clara? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oi. So yes, that was a spoiler. I saw them kissing. And if people won't like it, there are some very homophobic people out there who watch Ruby. And also I'm sure many black sun shippers, people who ship Blake with sun, are probably also very disappointed. Blake, who again? Sun. Blonde, monkey tail. Oh! Gunchucks. This is a gunchuck. Yeah. Okay. They're called gunchucks! Okay. That's what they're called! Are you sure? Yes! <laughs> Very sure? Yes! 100% sure? Yes! 1,000% sure? Yes. 10,000% sure? Oh, God. Anyway. So you're not 10,000 percent sir. Well, I am, but I might be doing it. A vanity percent sir. So oh, guys, okay. what were your thoughts? So you're not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm willing to write off the cat just yet. <laughs> personally, but that's we all know how I feel about the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat's a favorite. But Jean is real mad. Yeah. Jean. I mean, it's been how many years and he's old? I mean, that's basically how 
he's starting to feel. Mm-hmm. He's easily older than us. He's in his late 40s, 50s, maybe 60s. So, and I get it. I like that Weiss blast. <laughs> yeah, apparently Weiss uh, didn't like Jean because he was just, you know, two of the same age as her. Apparently she likes apparently. those older men. No, I think it's because he's like, hi, hey, Weiss. Actually, I get the feeling that Weiss has always had a little bit of a crush on the Rusted Knight kind of thing. You know, Rusted Knight character who was like all like... I feel like she, she, so got, uh, she got some daddy issues. That too, probably. But maybe the fact that he's now the Rusted Knight is like, ooh. <laughs> maybe she says, yes, please. <laughs> like, ooh, yes, please. I <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and on that awkward note. Julius, what's your opinion? I like the episode. Very descriptive. I love your use of language <laughs> and hyperbole there. I'm worried about the cat because I feel like he didn't do anything wrong, but John sees him as this villain, and I feel I- bad for him because... If he didn't even make it all the way to the tree because of Alex, and if Alex had manipulated and used people and been such a garbage ass person, yeah, it's not. I don't think the like, cat really it didn't did really anything. S- when he explained everything that happened, it didn't actually sound like the cat did anything. Like, no, he didn't mention didn't. anything about the cat, and he talked about how horrible Alex is, and then he's like, "The cat's a piece of shit." Yeah, <laughs> it's possible. This would not be the first time John sort of jumped to conclusions and blamed the wrong person. Mm. Wait, what was the story? Wait, well, what story. the way he got angry at Oscar when well, the whole thing with Oscar was going down? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he's he threw Oscar. That's literally the wall. what I pictured was the part with the wall where he slammed him into the wall and he was like screaming in his face. Didn't he think that he killed? Yeah. Like, he no, he was saying that. How do we even know we can trust you? <coughs> how do we know you're not really Ozpin trying to trick us? Basically, it was. It was the whole thing around the choir where he was really mad at Oscar because he was just kind of Aspen. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why was he? Oh, why is he? What? I don't really remember this episode. Careful with the court. Please. It was the whole story. It wasn't the remember episode. Remember when Aspen was inside Oscar? Yeah. Oh, still and yeah, Jean, he's still he is. still is. And Jean, like, they and Aspen had lied Salem. to all of them. Hmm? They just found out that. Uh, Salem could not be beaten. Yeah, they just found out that Salem couldn't actually be beaten. And Aspen knew that, and he didn't tell them anything. And they found out that he knew a ton of stuff. It was with the genie, remember, where they saw the past. And so they were in John's sister's house. And then house. John got pissed off at Oscar because Aspen was inside Oscar, and he just lost it. He started blaming him. Mm-hmm. So it's possible the cat's not to blame for any of this. Yeah. The cat isn't anything to be blamed for. Alice in Wonderland always has so many different versions. <laughs> Your favorite cat's the cat from the Johnny Depp live action, right? Where he know. even pretends to be the Mad Hatter until he gets beheaded. And he does the whole thing just because he likes the Mad Hatter cat. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Because honestly, the, the cat in the original movie is just kind of annoying, in my opinion. Like, you can't even get a straight answer out you of him. Shut your mouth. You can't. Like, so which way do I go? I don't know. Did you go that way or did you go this way? Yeah, which way? Well, that's the question, isn't it? I know, which way? That, that, that's, <laughs> oh, that was his thing in the live action, too. And that was his thing in yeah, this one, too. And that was his thing the in the live action, version, though, at yeah, least he was like... Version. <laughs> oh, I'll like, oh, help if I can have that pat. He was just like, I don't even know. <laughs> I always like the cat. Yeah, they do. So, Clara, are you going to give us your, your uh, thumbs up, thumbs you down know, review? Seen Henry one. Mm-hmm. There was no cat, was there? Mm-hmm. The three books. Remember? When they killed the version of it? Or turned out his daughter I know what you're talking queen. about. I'm saying I don't so know. T- nine uh, thumbs up. <laughs> you're talking about the, the game, the American McGee ones? No. Oh, that's because the cat's in that one. No, I was talking about the books by Christine Henry. 
Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, remember she did the version of Hook where Hook wasn't the bad guy? Peter Pan was. No, I've never, I've never read those. You never read. <laughs> but I showed you. We also met her, and I got stuff autographed by her. I do kind of remember that, but I wouldn't know if the guy was in that story. I thought maybe you were talking about the Danes, because I saw you, you really liked the Alice Wonderland. You tried playing the American McGee games. And I was like, cat's in that one. Cat yeah. looked real creepy in that one. No, I was talking about the books. Wait, what? Why are you scared? I just said the cat looks creepy in a game you've never played. I have played that game. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I lost that one, life. you would freak out. Yeah, definitely. Years ago, she played, played it. You no, had, I think years it. ago, she saw me playing it. You played it a little bit, and then you had her play a little bit of it. You, like, switched the controllers with her. Yeah, all I did was, was walk like, around town. Years younger. All I did was walk around town. It was I don't town. Remember. The only town I can remember is the very beginning of the game where yeah. before she goes back. Yeah. That's all I did. And then there was monsters and then I said hit behind mom. And then we turned the game off probably. No, I said kept Now that we exposed exposed his horrible parents. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got my horrible parents. Oh, I also enjoyed the episode. Um, and I want to know what you guys think. Obviously, Clara loved the kiss. Yeah, you can go ahead and comment about it. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. And we'll see you guys next Ring the bell. time.